I'm Chef Frank. And I'm Kathleen. And today we're making lollipops. I have a lot of nieces and nephews, and Kathleen's my niece. Um, we've done videos with my nephew Aiden. We're gonna link it up here. We made hot sauce with him. And uh, why did you want to make lollipops? Because I love sugar. Yes, so Kathleen likes sugar. She's like Uncle Frank. She likes sweets. Um, do you ever just eat sugar plain? <laughs> Are you the baby of the family? No. No, you're the second yeah. oldest. How many sisters do you have? Three. Are you going to share them with your three sisters? My parents will probably. <laughs> your parents will make you share it. Yes. Begrudgingly, she will share these with her sisters. Okay. All right, but we can always make another batch, so oh. that's what's cool about it. For our lollipops, this is what you're going to need. Corn syrup, citric acid, sugar, water, flavoring and fruit coloring. So one of the ingredients we're using is citric acid. Do you know what that is? Uh, kind of. Kind of. What uh, do you think it is? It's acid. So how does acid taste? Bad, but mm. kind of. Um. Well, okay, I'm going to give you a clue. Citric acid is mostly found in lemons. So what flavor of lemons? Sour. Sour, yes. Yeah. So that's what we're using citric acid for to make our lollipops a little sour. Right, because there's a lot of sugar in it, so we're going to add a little bit of citric acid to make it sour okay. instead of lemon juice, because lemon juice has liquid in it, and we don't want extra liquid in our lollipops. A couple of other ingredients we're using are flavored oils and food coloring. First things, flavored oils. These are really concentrated oils that give us flavor. Uh, you tasted my test batch, right? Yeah. And it was pomegranate flavor, and everyone thought that was going to be the worst flavor. Was it good? It was kind of, yeah, it was good. It was pretty good, right? So we are choosing what today? What do we say? Uh, we're going to do green apple. We're going to do green apple. Where was it? Do you remember what it was? Uh, it's, like, it's one of the white ones. It's clear, right? Okay. It'll be the last one we choose, of course. Oh, there you go, one. green apple. The other thing I have is colors. And the colors I have are gel colors. Now, gel is kind of thick and sticky, and it's not liquidy, so uh, we don't want to add extra liquid to our lollipop, so this is going to give us a nice uh, color without putting liquid in. Kathleen picked green apple uh, flavoring, and we're going to color that like a Granny Smith apple, a little dark green, a little yellow. Hopefully that'll give us kind of like a, a nice kind of limey green, right? We also have some special equipment that we need in order to do this. Now, everyone might not have this equipment, but I do recommend if you're going to make lollipops, there's a few things that you do need to have. A pot that has a heavy bottom because we don't want the, the syrup to burn, so having a heavy bottom is really important. So it's thick, and if it was really thin, it would burn and it would turn caramelized, and we don't want it to caramelize. I have lollipop molds. These are made from silicone, which is heat-proof rubber. So we can put the, the hot, hot syrup on here, and uh, it won't melt. I have a candy thermometer. This gives us all the temperatures, the correct temperatures for uh, the stage of the sugar we want to put in here, and we want it to be a hard crack stage, so it's nice and crunchy. Measuring spoon, lollipop sticks. I have a brush, and I'm gonna put some water in my cup. I also have a sheet tray with a sill pad. A sill pot is the same material as this. It's that silicone, and if we have excess syrup, I'm gonna put it on the sill pad, and we'll cut that up and get little bits of candy instead of instead of lollipops, okay? Because we're gonna have more syrup uh, than we have molds. So we'll, we'll turn that into like a, a, like a snake and we'll cut it into little pieces. Uh, so let's make these lollipops. Are you ready? Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. To get started, we're gonna put everything in the pot and get the sugar syrup cooking. It takes a few minutes to get the sugar syrup cooking. One thing I wanna be sure that you know is that this sugar syrup, once it gets hot, is super dangerous. So this isn't something you're gonna do uh, by yourself. You're always gonna need yeah. an adult, or until you're an adult, you're not gonna do it by yourself. Uh, it's, it could be really dangerous. Yeah. So you're here with me, we're safe, it's gonna be okay, but kids should not do this by themselves. So the way we gotta start is we're gonna put our water in. I'm gonna put that in. I want you to dump the sugar in. Get it all in there. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it splashes a little, right? Yeah, we get it everywhere, it's okay. And then we're gonna do three quarters of a cup of corn syrup. You hold that here, and I'm gonna pour the corn syrup in. It's super sticky. So we can dump it, and then we're gonna scrape it out with this. I'll scrape, right? Get all that corn syrup out. And then we're gonna just kind of give this a stir. Give it a stir. Try not to get it too much on the sides. And I'm gonna turn the power on, and we're gonna let it come to a boil. So just make sure there's no sugar stuck to the bottom and there's no lumps. 
Is it pretty smooth down there now? Uh, kind of. Okay. Let's take this out. And we're gonna let this come to a boil. We're starting to come to a boil. And the first thing I wanna do is take our water and brush the sides down. Because if there's any crystals, sugar crystals stuck on the side, what's gonna happen is they're gonna make our lollipops grainy or they won't come together and be clear. So we wanted to wash those down and now we're gonna take our thermometer and put it in. Having one of these thermometers is the most important thing. You have to know the temperature so that you get the right consistency. I'm gonna brush the sides down one more time just to make sure we don't have any sugar crystals in there. And we have to wait till this gets to 260 before we add our color. Is that all we need? Like That's all we need. We have the sugar, the corn syrup, the water, uh, the coloring and the flavoring, and that's all we really need to do lollipops. Did you think it was more complicated? Yeah. yeah it's not that complicated. How long does it take? For it's probably gonna take at least 20 minutes to get to the right temperature. Okay. It's fun. It is, right? It's just kinda, you know, while you're waiting, you can talk, you know, we can gossip. You want to gossip? What do you want to talk about? Well. <laughs> Who's your favorite aunt? Oh. I know her favorite uncle is Uncle Frank, of course. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. not true. <laughs> it's gonna get like thick. It will get thicker, uh, but it'll still be really kind of, while it's still hot, it'll be like, uh, kind of like, a syrupy, like you know, like pancake syrup, like syrupy consistency. Uh, it's never going to be like really heavy and thick, but it'll get thick like like pancake syrup. We've hit that 260 or the hard ball stage. We're going to add our colors uh, because we want it to be a light green. I'm going to add one drop of green, and then you can add three drops of yellow. And we're not going to stir. Remember, we talked about stirring. We're going to yeah. See, it's going to all the bubbles are going to kind of stir themselves. So three, kind of three drops of yellow. The best you can. One, two. Yeah, they're gels, so they're kind of thick. Perfect. Now close the top, and we're gonna kind of let it stir itself. Uh, and when we hit 300 degrees, that's when we can take it off the heat, add our flavor, add our citric acid, and we can put it in the molds. So you see how it's kind of automatically stirring itself. Oh so uh, at the at the end, this will make its own kind of color. That's really cool. It's really cool, right? It's self-stirring. Oh. Shoot, we passed. That went quick. We've hit the 300. Now it's time for us to add our citric acid and our flavoring. So open that baby up. That's our green apple flavoring. And you're gonna dump the whole thing in. Just dump the whole container in, not, not the glass. Just dump it all in. And I'm gonna add like less than a quarter teaspoon of this, the citric acid. And now we can stir it. I'm gonna do that because I don't want you to get hurt. It's gonna bubble up a little. It does smell delicious, right? It does. Oh my Lord. So we have our molds ready to go. You have the sticks. Our syrup is ready. It smells delicious. I also have a tray there in case we uh, have extra, which we probably will. And I'm gonna start dumping these in and you have to be really careful not to touch them, but I'm gonna go in and I'll show you how to put the sticks in. We're gonna go all the way to the top. Oop, we got little drips, it's okay. Ooh, those look good. You like the color? Yeah. Green apple, baby. They're all like spilling at the same spot. Yeah, it smells so good. Green apple, good choice on the, the flavor today. Thank you. And we just keep filling. Now with the, st oh no, okay, whatever. We, we have one that blew up. That'll be our, uh, can have that one. we'll get, <laughs> oh, that's for, you, that's for your little sister? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, uh-oh. I'm going kind of be happy with it. Because she looks like okay, so I also have the tray here and I have my soap hat and I'm just gonna pour the excess syrup or excess lollipop on there and we'll take care of this later. This will cool off, make it into a snake and we'll cut it. Okay, putting the sticks in, this is what we're gonna do. And I want you to be careful. You put the stick down and then you give it a little twist. It gets stuck in there and give it a little twist. Okay. So down, in, all the way in and twist. So see how we're covering it all the way? Yeah, like almost like do this, watch. When you put it in, almost go here and then go all the way around once. So in, and then all the way around once, okay? Let me have a few, I'm gonna start from this side so it doesn't yeah. cool off. And now what we have to do right now is let them cool. Kathleen, I'm gonna move these over 
And the good thing about having a, a stone countertop is it's cold. And that's why we did it directly on the counter so that the stone countertop would help cool our lollipops. With this, I'm gonna use the Silpat. This is still super hot. And I'm just gonna roll it up and try and cool it off a little. I mean, it's, you can touch, just touch right there. It's pretty hot, right? Yeah. It's squishy and hot. And we wouldn't wanna to touch this with our hands at this point. So I'm just gonna take my scissor now and go bloop. Do you, you wanna cut? Sure. Yeah, here. yeah, I'll hold it, you cut it. Yeah, keep going. What's cool about this too is if we don't cut it now, we can always just shatter it. These so are now, really gritty. Like they're pretty too. Hard and like yeah, yeah. Once they cool off, they'll be like rock solid. You ready? Oh wait, we got a little piece there. Yeah. Is it not hot? No. Mm. Preliminarily, what do you say? It's good. Thumbs up. Okay, so let's let everything cool and we'll come back. So a lot of the pops have cooled all the way. It's been how long about? About twenty minutes. About twenty yeah. minutes, right? So we're just gonna pull them out of the mold and put them onto a plate. So let's pull them out. Yeah. Let's show them to camera. Look at how beautiful and clear those are. That is a good color. I think I would maybe add a little more green, but I think that that's, yeah. that's pretty, okay? Let's put them on the plate. And then what do we get to do? Uh, eat them. Eat them. You're gonna, oh, you got a double. Ooh, what? it's like glasses. Get glasses, Alice. They're actually really clear. I see everything. <laughs> it's not rose colored glasses, it's green colored glasses. All right, so that we'll leave for a display and then we can taste. You ready oh, to taste? Yeah. Okay, let's taste. Now it's my favorite time, time to? Taste. Okay, you ready? Let's get our reaction. Mmm. That's, that's really good. I think it's really good. I think we could have made it a little more sour, no? Yeah. Just a little more sour. Yeah. But the green apple flavor, really nice. Is my tongue changing color? Um. No, we have no. to do it for longer. You gotta do it for longer, right? So what do you think? Do you think we did good? Yeah. Do you think we need to do it again? Yeah. Next time, more citric acid. So it's a little more sour. Yeah. I think we can actually add a little more flavor too. Yeah. Just a little more of that flavor liquid, just to make it like extra strong. But all in all, pretty good lollipops, right? Yeah. So you're gonna take them home? And your parents are gonna make you share? All right, well, she's gonna have to share. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, we have merch in the description down below. We have a PO box down there as well. I wanna thank our Patreon patrons for their support. And I also wanna thank my favorite niece named Kathleen for coming and making lollipops with me and doing candy. Um, and that's it, that is Lollipops. I'm Chef Frank. And I'm Kathleen. Have a sweet day.